Hey, what's up, Superstars? I'm back with a, yet another haul. Um, this is some items that I have acquired or hauled in the last month and a half, which is quite a bit. So we're going to jump right into this and get started, okay? Because, um, yeah, we need to do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get started. I have a bunch of palettes. I have to admit that I have a problem and admit that I am a eyeshadow palette fanatic. Like I'm addicted to buying eyeshadow palettes and I have quite a few. Like, this is just crazy. It's insane, but I love palettes. Big, small, medium size, it don't matter. Um, and I like to gather them from different sources, so it doesn't matter where they come from, but these are some of the palettes that I have, okay? Ooh, I'm gonna have to lay these down because I'm trying to be calm about the fact that I suffered a work-related injury and my wrist hurts so bad right now. Um, even though I've taken some pain medication and stuff. But yeah, I have um, tendonitis of my left wrist and I write with my predominant hand. So I'm gonna try to take it easy in terms of things that I handle so that I don't aggravate my wrist. Okay, we're gonna go from small to big. Um, the first two palettes, I think I featured one of these in a haul before, but um, these are really popular. They're beautiful, small palettes, and these are VZR palettes that I have gained right here. I have two of them, and these are gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can just try to get into these real quick, me and my long nails, if they will permit me to pull them out of the packaging. <laughs> you know how that goes. But even though I can't open them, those are the colors on the back for this particular palette right here, which is really, really pretty. And then this one is a more warmer tone palette right here, and these shadows are gorgeous. I don't know if I stated this before in a previous video, but one of the shadows, I think it was this one right here, it's a beautiful peachy orange color. It came shattered, which I was disappointed about, so I had to repress it. And you can't even tell the difference when you look at it in the um, pan. Okay, this one slipped out real easy, but this is what it looks like. And like I said, um, I bought it online, I think from a seller on eBay. It was brand new um, retail, still in the wrapping and everything, but it still arrived shattered. I had to press this one right here, but you can't tell the difference because I pressed it so well. But look at those colors. They are so freaking pretty. Like, I love these little palettes. I would like to get some more. Um, they're really gorgeous. They're, they really go on very, very well. They're smooth and just silky when they go on the eyes and the pigment is just amazing. So yeah, I love these two palettes by Busy Art. The next one that I um, wanna show you guys, this one I got from TJ Maxx. I happen to be perusing in there. Y'all know that's my stomping grounds, one of my stomping grounds. So I like to go in there quite a bit. And I saw this palette by Urban Decay. This is the Naked Wild West palette right here. And it's really, really pretty. And as you can see, it was only nine bucks, close to $10 for me to get this, but look at the shadows. They're really, really pretty. So we just gonna bust this open so I can show you guys the colors in this palette. And I love these colors. They, they remind me of desert colors um, with one pop of color in this palette. And the colors are so pretty, as you can see. And um, they just give like really, really vivid colors and stuff. They're really smooth when they go on. Just the pigment is everything. These shadows are just stupid pretty. And then I love the packaging. Like, look at the packaging. It's like really, really pretty. So yeah, this is one that I picked up that I really like. The next one is a Artist Couture Caliente palette. I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner. And when it first came out, I told myself I would get it, but I kept putting it off, so I never got around to getting it. So I decided to just get it just recently, and this one I got on um, brand new retail from a seller on eBay. But look at those colors. And one thing about this, this is like, these are beautiful and perfect for the summertime, but if you wanna wear a pop of color on your eyes, like warm tone colors, they're so vivid. Like, they're really, really pretty. Like, look at that color. And then I'm gonna pick up this orange. Look at this yellow, I, well, a peachy orange is like a summertime, like tangerine orange. It, it's a shimmer, but look how pretty those, these colors just pop, like they are so damn pretty. And they're really, really beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna show you the yellow one in here if I can pick this up. Look at that. 
It's not chalky, it doesn't skip. It's just very vivid. The, the formula is smooth and everything. So I'm ready to play in this palette. So I can't wait to do some looks out of this particular palette. But yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. This one is another LA Girl Pro, Pro Neutrals um, palette. Um, I hauled um, the Pro Jewels palette in my last haul that I just put on my channel, which is that one. And I just picked this one up recently. This is the Pro Neutrals. And these colors in here are popping, okay? And even though they're neutrals, they're vivid and bright in color. And um, there's a couple of standout colors in here for me. This would be one of them down here at the bottom. Like, look at that. It's like a peachy, orange, pearly color. It's just so pretty. And then this color next to it is just as pretty. Like, look at that color. It's like a soft, baby, shimmery pink. Like, these colors are really, really pretty. Um, one thing that I love about the drugstore brands is they really have, like, quantum leaped into, like, giving or putting out very, very good, high-quality product to where the color payoff is good, the formula is good, they go in shimmering, beautiful, bright, the pigment is, is on point, just beautiful. So hats off to LA um, Girl because they've been putting out some quality um, eyeshadows and um, quality products in the last few years and it just, just really, really amazing. Now this one I used for this particular look that I'm wearing right now and this one is um, a, a tutorial that I just did that is getting ready to go up. So obviously you'll be able to, you know, tell that um, after before this haul I did a um, full tutorial because I'm still wearing the same shirt, of course. But this one is the Morphe 18V Vava Bloom um, eyeshadow palette by Morphe, and I meant to pick this up when it first came out, and for some reason I kept putting this one off too. So. It's, it's weird because my, my local Ulta store um, down the road from where I live at is right next door to a TJ Maxx store. So they're right next door to each other. So I bounce between stores to see what is in TJ Maxx and then I go over to Ulta. So I happened to be in TJ, TJ Maxx before I went back to Ulta to get this palette. And when I did go to Ulta, it was no longer on the shelves, but I happened to pick this up in TJ Maxx. So I'm glad I, I picked it up. This palette, I believe... Do I have a tag on it? Yep. This palette right here was $12.99. There's the price tag right there from TJ Maxx. And like I said, this palette is so gorgeous. Like the pops of color in here is different shades of pinks, pastels, deep reds, burnished browns. Like the colors in here are pretty. This is not doing it any justice because the color is getting washed out by the lighting in my room. But these, these colors in this palette is so damn pretty. Like... I love those. I think this is like the standout color right here in the palette for me. And I happen to be wearing that shade on my eyelid and that, that like curly pink right there. It's so pretty. This palette is everything. I had so much fun doing this look with this palette. So yeah, this was another palette that I picked up. Love this. And then, um, then um, I skipped right next door to Ulta and I picked up this. This was just released just recently. Um, this came out um, by Morphe. This is um, one of two of their palettes. Um, it's a Power Multi Effects palette. This is the Floral Lease palette. So I had to pick this one up. That, when I saw it in my catalog that I had gotten for the month, I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I have to get this palette because this one is beautiful. Um, it's like um, pinks, soft mauves, um, earth tone colors that like um, are pink or mauve tone. You can see the colors right there. I love the packaging. The packaging is cute too. Like it looks like that. But when you oh, pop this open, oh my God, it's like the colors just jumped out at me. Like look how beautiful they are. You can tell I was kind of playing with them a little bit, but to me, these two down here are the standout colors. This pink is so gorgeous. Like, look at that. It looks wet. It's like slick, wet, shimmery, like, um, texture that, that, you know, gives an impact on the eye. And then this one is gorgeous too. Like, oh my goodness. I just had to get this. Like, Jesus, these are pretty. And then the other colors are beautiful too. Like I said, they're mauve tone, brown, rosewood shades, I guess you can say, of a brown pink nature. And then this one is a standout too. Like, 
these colors are just beautiful in this palette. So yeah, um, it's a multi-effects palette with di different textures for different eye looks that you can come up with with this palette. I also picked up another Morphe palette. This one came from TJ Maxx, duh. Um, this one right here was $19.99 and it is the Up Till Dawn 35A um, eyeshadow palette by Morphe. Ooh, the packaging pretty. Sometimes it makes it hard for you to throw away the packaging because the packaging just be just as beautiful as the eyeshadow palette colors themselves. But um, I wanted this one too and I first saw it in Ulta and I didn't pick it up right away. Um, I kept putting it off saying that I would get this one and the other two that I was looking at and just never got around to it. So when I went into TJ Maxx one day, cause I didn't plan on going to Ulta, which was right next door to where I was going. I just happened to see it in the store in, in um, TJ Maxx. So I figured why not, it's cheaper here. You know, even though Morphe is very affordable, don't get me wrong, it's very, you know, um, the price point of it is very like um, like um, consumer friendly, easy on the pocket. So I wouldn't have mind spending whatever it was that I would have spent for this full full retail price. But it was $19.99 at TJ Maxx. So I picked this one up and these colors are just, I love colors like this. Like these colors are gorgeous. Like look at these. I think my favorite in here is one called Orchid Avenue, which is this color right here and it looks like this like look how beautiful that is it's shimmering it's so beautiful and then um another favorite of mine in here is a green shade this this shade up here called island lover this is so beautiful like look at that that is gorgeous that that's this color right here like I said, these colors remind you of um, colors that you would wear of the night that is just like um, tropical and, and just, you know, wear friendly. So yeah, I love the colors in this palette. So yeah, this one was a steal. So I stole, not literally, but I had to, I had to pick it up. <laughs> this one I had been wanting for a while too. This is a ColourPop palette. And I picked up an Ulta just recently, and this is their Smoke and Roses palette. This palette is breathtaking. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know what's going on with me lately, but I've really been on a pink kick, believe it or not. As much shit as I talk on my palette, uh, on my channel about not liking the shade pink, it's a certain shade of pink that I like. And it's the color that I'm wearing right now. This is like um, fuchsia. Um, the color of my shirt, like I love, I love the color of this shirt. It's like a fuchsia color, like you can see that. This is my favorite shade of pink. You know, even though I have on some baby pink pearl earrings right here, this color is pretty too, don't get me wrong. But this is my favorite shade of pink. It, it has to be like a purple or red based, um, like shade of um, pink. But these colors in this palette, the color story in here is just so pretty. It has smoky eyeshadows. Um, in here that basically um, marry into these other beautiful shimmery pops of pink and all of these different colors in here. Like all of those different shades of shimmery soft pinks, baby pinks, middle pinks, they're just so beautiful. And then you have these smoky colors down here at the bottom that complements all of these colors up here at the top. And there's a couple of standouts in here for me. They're so pretty, and I'm just in love with this palette. Like, if you want something soft, um, pretty, and feminine, and dainty, you know, when it comes to wearing some soft, romantic pink colors, this palette gives you everything and more. Like, these colors are just absolutely beautiful. This retails for 35 bucks. I'm not sure if the sale is still going on on the ColourPop website or not, but this was $24.50 on the ColourPop website, so... If it's still on sale, I would suggest you go on the ColourPop website to see if the sale is still going on. I didn't care either way. This fully retails for 35 bucks, but I felt like it was worth it because look how many colors you get in this palette. And it's just really, really pretty. The quality on this is really good as well. Two other items that I also picked up from um, TJ Maxx. Um, this one is a NARS Sunkiss Bronze and Cream in Laguna. Um, this one is the 
tag still. Yeah, this one was $12.99 because I had to get a price check on this because there was no tag on it. So the cashier check for me. And like I said, this one is Laguna. And it says it right there on the package if you can see that. It's not too fuzzy. There you go. And I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, it's really, really pretty. Like, it gives a soft, diffused, um, bronzed look to the skin. And the formula is really, really nice. And it blends into the skin quite easily. You don't have to, you know, fight against it in order to try to get it to go into the skin. But it looks like this. And at first, I thought this would be cool tone and I wouldn't like it on my skin. But once I applied it with um, a regular dense bronzer, bronzing brush, it just looks so pretty. And the formula is so easy to work with. But see how cool tone that is? This is the reason why it kind of scared me off from wanting to use this. Because I usually go with warm tone bronzers. Um, that has like red undertones because my skin has red undertones but this actually blends into the skin so easy and it doesn't jump out a screen bronzer you know what I'm saying like you can barely see it on my skin but it gives a soft bronze look to the skin it's just really really soft so yeah and then it smells amazing too I love the way it smells <laughs> I really like it. I'm going to be using it more often, even though I'm kind of addicted to my Jaclyn Hill bronzing um, duo blush, whatever you want to call it, thingamajig. But I absolutely love this. This is really, really nice. I picked up a e.l.f. concealer. I got this one from Walmart. And this one, I just wanted to try a lighter um, shade. This is Tan Sand. And like I said, I always get the camo concealers because the... Um, the, the hydrating camo concealers because the regular concealers are very drying and I don't like the way it looks on my skin. It gives like texture to my skin for some reason when I use the regular concealer. So I would rather use the hydrating camo concealer formula, which is good for me. So yeah, I wanted to get a, a lighter shade. So I picked up Tan Sand and this retails for seven bucks now. Then I went up on the price, which kind of sucks, but it's still affordable. It's a good product. So I'm going to continue to keep using it. Um, this is a Morphe Blush Balm. I had picked this one up from TJ Maxx. It was only $5.99. Do you see that? $5.99. And this is a cream blush. Surprise, surprise. Um, I usually don't um, mess with cream blushes, but that seems to be the thing right now. The wave right now is cream blushes and everybody is, is jumping on that trend. So I told myself, Okay, I'm just gonna keep an open mind and try it again because back in the day I used to try cream blushes and I really, really hated them on my skin. It didn't look good, but this one is Wild Wine. That's the color. And I'm wearing it on my on my cheeks right now and it's so pretty. Like, it just makes my skin glows with a warm, healthy, flush of color across my skin. The, uh, the formula is really nice. It blends into it blends and melts into the skin so easy, but this is what the shade looks like right here. And like I said, it's really, really beautiful. It's really, really beautiful, and it looks like that. And the texture is really, really nice, but that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. See, it doesn't look as intense as it does in the pan. So when you put it on the skin, it gives, just gives a warm sheer wash of color across the skin. And that's what I really, really like. I think what put me off about cream blushes before in the past is, however they were formulating them, they were like dense and heavy with pigment and it would just go on the skin and it would be hard to blend down and you would have to use it sparingly. But with this, it gives a warm sheer wash of color and it's buildable. So that's what I really like about this blush. So yeah, now I'm open more to, you know, trying cream blushes. And this one, I absolutely love. Okay, I'm gonna clear some items that I wanna share with you guys that I had gotten from um, CVS. And sometimes I like to go there um, to and from my, my job when I'm on my way to work. But I mostly go to CVS's 24 hour store after I get off from work in, in, um, in the morning. I used to work um, um, night shift from 3.30 to 2 o'clock in the morning. And usually when I get off, CVS is along, along the way on my way home. So I would always stop in CVS and just pick up little drugstore makeup products here and there. So these are the things that I hauled from CVS. Um, I always had my eye on this blush. This is a Physicians, Form Physicians Formula Blush. And this one is Glasses Rose Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. 
and this is really pretty. It gives a natural glow to the skin, and it looks like that. Ooh, embossed like design on top is really, really cute. It's a bunch of hearts, but it's so cute. So I wanted to pick up this color because I love the way it looks. And I would say if you're looking for a huge color payoff, you're not gonna get that. This is more like a like glow from within type of blush to where you're gonna get subtle color that's buildable. So this is what this looks like on the back of my hand right there. You can see it right there. It's just beautiful. It just gives a soft, healthy glow. And I really, really like this blush. It's super pretty. So this one retailed for, I believe, $14.99. I also picked up some e.l.f. putty blushes, like putty, yeah, luminous putty blushes. Um, this luminous putty blush is pretty much new. It's a new shade. This one is called Bermuda. And I like the way this one looks on the skin because it's just a really beautiful, like, pinky type of corally type of shade and as you can see I already didn't use some of it like I said I'm starting to come around um to the um cream blush like phase and this one is so pretty like look at that like right there that's beautiful it's more like a shimmer but it's still pretty and I like it so I picked up that then the other two that I picked up um let's see one I had been picked up like a while ago, and then I've just been picking up those, um, like these putty um, blushes here and there. One is Caribbean, which is this one, and then this one is Bora Bora. It's a really light pink shade. Um, Caribbean looks like this. I love this one because even though it looks dark in the pan, it's not what you think. When you um, put it onto the skin, it shears out, and it just gives this warm, soft, warm but soft glow to the skin right there look how pretty it is and they're so blendable like i thought that it would be you know hard for me or i would struggle to try to blend this into my skin but they're all blendable and they're luminous they're soft they're sheer um like i said the color is buildable so you can put on as much as you want and blend it out and it's going to give you a healthy glow from within and these blushes are so pretty they are really really pretty and then Bora Bora, this one looks like this on the skin. This is really light, and at first I was like, I don't know about this one because I usually don't wear blushes this light, but when I put it on the skin, it just gives a sheer wash of light color that I, I'm really feeling. So I was like, okay, I think I might like this one. Okay, okay. And it looks like that. We can see it like right there. It's really pretty. Like I really love these putty blushes. So yeah, I'm gonna have a ball with these because they're so flipping pretty. Also from CVS, I picked up uh, Extra Mascara. I love the fact that they carry Essence Cosmetics because I'm a big fan of that cosmetic line. It's affordable, they have good quality products, and I love it. So I picked up a mascara and a concealer. This is their Camouflage Matte Concealer. Um, it's waterproof, it, it even covers, it's even tattoo covering. Like, how great is that? I don't have that many tattoos on me. Um, I have one that's behind my neck right there, and then I have one on my arm and one on my lower back. So I don't have a whole lot of tattoos that I need to cover, but if I ever got a face tattoo, which is something that I don't feel like I will ever do, but if I need to cover a tattoo, depending on the location of it, this is good for covering up those marks or those tattoos and stuff. And their, camp, their, their concealers are just the bomb. They're creamy. They go on really, really thick. Um, not too thick to where it feels uncomfortable. Um, they're not comedogenic. They won't clog your pores and stuff. And the coverage is just beautiful. Like, look at that coverage right there. It's just really, really pretty. And then I picked up a Lash Princess Mascara. This one is their Sculpted Volume Formula Mascara in the purple container. I usually get the green ones, in, like in the green packaging. This is the purple one. So yeah, I picked up one of these. And then this is a NYX um, graphic liner. This is their Vivid. This is from their Vivid Bright um, liquid liner um, um, liquid line collection, and it looks like this. And um, what is the color on this? It's almost like a spring green. It's like really, really pretty. This one is called Ghosted Green. This is like really, really pretty. And I can show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. And you 
think it would be like really like screaming like bright like a bright green but it's not it looks like that on the back of the hand but it's so pretty like look how beautiful that is so yeah i also picked that up from um cvs and i think that was like mm, i say tw um nine or ten bucks something like that um and then the last item i picked up from cvs is from la girl of course this is also a cream blush this is the velvet blush and this color is really 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 pretty this color is called plush and you can pop this off and it looks like this and it's a twist up too that's what i like about this blush is that you can twist it up and um it just looks like a bubblegum pink it's just like a really really pretty like um cream blush but when i rub it onto the skin like i said most of these cream blushes are buildable it gives you a sheer wash of color but that's what it looks like on the back of my hand like that color is so pretty i think they have like three other shades besides this one this was the one that i liked the most because the other ones they really wasn't you know like flattering for my skin tone so i picked up this one the other one i may pick up because it's like an orange reddish type of um color almost like a coral like peach reddish type of color so i may pick that one up but this one was like 4.99 so yeah I, I had to pick this one up because it's so pretty okay moving right along i have a bunch of lip products i got them from different sources so yeah i'm going to tell you where i got each one of them from um the color that i'm wearing on my lips is the first product that i'm going to show you guys i got it from their website um this is the because I'm going to give you a heads up about this. I don't want y'all to be surprised if you decide to um, order this for yourself. This is the original packaging of this lipstick that I'm wearing. You'll see it in the previous um, video that I just shot of this look. And this is what it looks like. This is Posner Cosmetics Princess Purple. And that's what it looks like right there. But the color on the back of my hand is just, I can show you guys, it's so pretty. And um, it's topped off with a lip gloss, but that's how beautiful and vivid this color is. And then um, I didn't think it was even in circulation anymore or that I could even find this lipstick anymore. I didn't even know if Posner Cosmetics was even still in business. So I decided to um, Google Posner Cosmetics only to find out they are still around and, in, and still in business. So I went on their website and discovered that they have Princess Purple. I got so excited, I jumped at the chance to um, order two of these because they were like $5.95, you know, um, each. So that's Princess Purple by Posner. But what disappointed me when they finally arrived is the fact that they changed the shade um, formula. Like, this is both lipsticks. This is the old school packaging right here, and then this is the new packaging right here. And this is Princess Purple. And what bothered me is the fact that when I applied it, it's much darker. It's not as vivid as it as the original formula is, but it's close to being in the same um, shade range, same family shade range as the original lipstick. And you can obviously tell that this is different from the original. And I was, I was a little disappointed, but it's still a pretty shade. It's just not as vivid as the original formula of the lipstick that I currently own. And that's obvious. You can see the obvious color difference between the two. This is the new lipstick formulation that I just purchased from the website. This is the one that I'm wearing on my lips. And it's so obvious that you can see it's a, it's a significant color change in the formulation in the shade of this of this particular color so i was really really irritated when they finally got here i'm about to email the company and tell them hey can you change it back to the original um shade that this color was because obviously they're not the same you can see clearly that the new school um lipstick is um different from the, the original one that i'm wearing so yeah, I was so disappointed, but if you guys know of any great dupes that would match this shade right here, the original color, please let me know. I'll be willing to pick it up. Somebody told me that MAC may have a shade that's close to this that I may be able to pick up, so I'm gonna look into it. It's still a pretty color nonetheless, but it's not the original shade that I, had, that I currently have that I had purchased like a long time ago. Like I said, I sanitize my makeup regularly, and that's the reason why I was able to extend the life of this lipstick. It has no greenies on it, no mold, no nothing. And I'm able to comfortably 
and confidently put this lipstick on my lips because I love the shade so much. So Prosna Cosmetics, please, for the love of God, if you see this video, could you please, please, pretty please, change the formulation of the shade of this lipstick back to this because this is what I want. I don't want a dark purple color that's like a flat shade that looks the way it does, but the colors are still pretty nonetheless, so I'm going to keep them. Okay, these two I had bought at TJ Maxx. Um, I love them, they're so pretty. Um, this one is another Urban Decay lip gloss, and it looks like this. Look at that shade. It looks like a mink brown. It's just so pretty. Um, this particular shade right here, um, I'm trying to read it. This one is called Runyon. I don't know why they named it that because it's kind of weird, but it's called Runyon. Are you in? Why you in? And this color is, even though this looks like it may look like this color, like, you know, um, on the lips, like very opaque, it really isn't. It's sheer. And that's what I so love about this color because of the sheerness of, the, of this color. Um, it's just really, really pretty. It's like a nude like middle brown, soft brown color that looks like that on the lips. It's just really, really pretty. Like, oh my goodness, I wore it out and everybody kept asking me, what, what is that that you have on your lips? It's so pretty, it looks like a sheer brown. And I had to tell them it's Urban Decay's Runyon. And I had got it from TJ Maxx once again for like $6.95. So this was a good deal. And as long as they keep putting them up, I'm gonna keep buying them. I don't care if I have to get them directly from the website, but I love me a good deal. I love me a good discounted item. If I can get it, I'm going to get it. Um, this one is the shade Boho by Morphe Cosmetics. This is a lip gloss. I love, love colors like this. Like I've been addicted to mauve pink sheer lipsticks or baby pink lipsticks that look good on the lips. That's in the sheer mauve pink color, like a middle muted, um, like brown pink. This color is so beautiful. This one is sheer, even though it looks like in the um, bottle, but I love shades like this. Like these are my shades. Like I love any shade like this. It stays on the lips. It's semi-sticky, which I like because it's gonna stay, it's gonna have staying power on the lips, but it's just really, really pretty. Like look at that shade. Like, oh my goodness, just, that's so pretty. This one was like um, $12.99 when I picked it up, so I love this. This is like one of my favorites. The last two lip products that I have is um, one by Too Faced Cosmetics from their Lady Bowl line. This is a lipstick, and I love this one. Um, this one is called I'm Thriving, and it looks like this. Like It's really, really pretty. See that? It's like a brownie pink. It's really, really pretty. And I love the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. And I got that one from TJ Maxx for, uh, I think it was like $7.99. This one I ordered from Amazon. This is a, this is, don't pick at me, okay? Don't, don't pick at me. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I know they're a good cosmetic line. I've never bought anything from Charlotte Tilbury before, but I saw this online and I wanted to buy this. This is a lipstick from their Matte Revolution collection. And this one is so pretty. Like, this one is called The Queen. That's what it looks like. I think I spent $14.99 for this, if that. But it's so pretty. Like, this lipstick color is gorge. It, I, I can't. I really don't know how to describe it except to say it's like a pinky type of reddish color. It's like a pinky red, you can say. It looks like that. Like it, it's coming across looking like an orange red, but it really isn't. It's more like a pink reddish tone lipstick. It's so freaking pretty. Like, look at that. And if you were to look at it in person, you can see it has pink undertones to it. So it looks like a pinky shade, even though it's coming across to y'all like maybe an orange red, but it's really not. It's a pinky, it's more like a pinky red shade and it's so freaking gorgeous. So yeah, I picked up one of these. I'm also gonna pick up, I wanna um, try their makeup setting spray, their foundation, as well as their powder. I heard their powders are just unmatched, like, 
they're really really pretty I used this in my last um, tutorial um, which is the Juvia's Place coffee shop palette um, look that I did and I used this foundation that they just came out with just recently this is Juvia Place's I am radiant um, I am magic um, natural radiant foundation and I got this one in my shade, which is Somalia, which is 320, no, 350. That's my shade right there. I can't stop raving about how good this product is. Um, it just gives unmatched coverage. It's beautiful on, it's sheer on the skin. It gives you a radiant, beautiful, you know, glow from within type of glow on the skin. And like I said, I usually don't do anything dewy or radiant or anything that describes something that looks like wet or, or radiant or dewy on my skin because I have combination oily skin and I sweat profusely, especially during the warm, humid months. months. So I usually try to stay away from products that says dewy or radiant or anything like that because I feel like it just produces more oil on my skin. But this one is so pretty that I had to try this because I have the original um, foundation that Juvia's Place came out with and that one was matte and I like it but I really don't like to do like like real matte foundations that gives texture to my skin and makes my skin look dried out so I guess you can say nowadays I'm into more of a healthy radiant glow when it comes to my foundation even if it's full coverage this one is medium to full coverage it's so beautiful on like when I baby when I tell you that it gives you awesome coverage to your skin it gives off um, awesome coverage to your freaking skin. You hear me? This one is just beautiful. And then it smells like a Kai Berries. It says it on the package. Some people, I've seen some reviews where some people are put off by the smell, but I think it smells pleasant. It's lightly scented and it smells so gorgeous. And it just gives you the full experience of trying this on and wearing this foundation. But I think it smells amazing. Amazing. It's lightly scented and it just smells so beautiful. Like, and then the coverage, the texture, um, the, the consistency, it's just everything. I love this foundation. So guys, go and pick this up. I think they have like 33 shades of this in, in, in their shade range. And it's only $23. And for $23, you're getting a lot in product because they actually added 30% more to this tube. So you're getting a lot of product for your buck. So this is going to last you a good little while. Plus, it's a pump. You're not going to dispense too much product um, by it being in a pump. So yeah, and mm, this smells so good. I wish all foundations had a light, pleasant scent to them because when it gives off that um, manufactured um, chemical smell, it kind of puts you off. But this one is pleasantly, lightly scented with cherries or berries and it smells so good. These last few things that I'm gonna show you is mostly nail products. Um, I do, I am a gel polish wearer because I happen to be wearing gel on my nails right now. This is D&D &D Gel Polishes Purple Flower. I absolutely love this color. I think I bought this color sometime last year and I'm addicted to how pretty this shade is. So this is gel polish. However, I still like to pick up regular polishes. If they're beautiful, I'm going to pick them up. One of my favorite nail polish lines happens to be Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Polishes. I think I own, oh goodness. I'm looking at them right now on my nail polish rack. Mm, I have 15. <laughs> I have 15 of these polish colors. And like I said, I don't know what's, what's going on with me, but I've been picking up a lot of shades in anything in the pink color range. So these are really, really beautiful. I picked up these three and all of them came from Walmart. Um, but these are some pinks that I picked up just recently. And as you can see, I mark them at the bottom because I had an experience when I, in the nineties, when I was working out at this nail salon and it used to be this lady that used to come through wh whom I know very well, but I, I, I don't want to name names, but she used to boost, like she used to come through with, you know, tons of nail liquid and, and acrylic powder, you know, um, nail tools, um, beauty items and stuff that she would sell for half off. And um, I used to buy so much stuff off of her that, you know, after a while, she just started giving me certain things for free. And one time she requested, you know, she came in to do a nail, she requested a certain polish color by Creative Nail Design 
that only I can get if I walked into a professional only store with a professional license. So I told her I would get the shade and I did. It was like a butterscotch color by Creative Nail Design. Don't you know, this heifer came in the, in the shop when I was um, not there one day when I was off. She comes through, you know, selling, you know, hair care products or whatever to the other, you know, um, to my co-workers co in the shop. And she had the nerve to go on my table and steal that same bo bottle of polish that I bought for her. And I'm sitting there like, what? If you just wanted the nail polish, all you had to do is just buy it off of me and I would have easily gave it to you. But I know that's what you're in the, you know, you know that's your line of work, but don't steal from me. You know, I came out of my own pocket and paid for that. If she wanted the color, she could have gave me the money for it and I would have bought it for her and just gave it to her. Or I buy it myself out of my pocket and I, and I, and I you know, she can buy it off of me. Either way, she could have got it off of me if she really wanted the polish color instead of stealing it off my damn nail table. So I had a problem with that. And ever since then, I marked my bottles because the next time I saw her, I confronted her about it and she said she didn't steal it. She bought her own bottle from somewhere else and had the nerve to show me the bottle that she stole from me. That I bought for her, for her to use at any time when she come in and I service her. But she's gonna lie to me. So I started marking my bottles with a magic marker at the bottom and I, and I put X's on the bottom of them so that if somebody take one of my polishes, I'm like, no, that's mine because I mark all my bottles, don't do that. No, ma'am, don't do that. I work too damn hard, like to, to to acquire the things that I get. Don't don't steal from me. You know what I'm saying? I'm hooking you up, so don't steal from me. And these shades are pumped up pink. This one is um, beating heart. This one is so pretty. It's like a middle pink. It's so gorgeous. And then the last one is sleekable. Like peekaboo. But look at that pearlized color. It's so pretty. And then these other two that I got, this one is a purple base shade. Um, this one is called um, Just Envy Me. I think that's what it says. Just Envy Me. This is like a purple shade. It's like really, really pretty. And then this last one is a red shade. I just thought this one was really gorgeous because everybody knows my favorite color is red. And um, this one is called ASAP Apple, and it looks like that. Like, that color is super pretty. So, yeah. And then the other two pouches I have is by OPI's Nature Strong. Um, this particular shade right here is called You Bloom. Wait, wait a minute, what? Like I said, I'm trying to read this without picking up my glasses or whatever. This will make you bloom crazy thistle like thistle like a thorn or thistle this will make you bloom <laughs> this color is beautiful it almost matches my shirt but it's so gorgeous like I'm gonna show you I'm gonna let it drip from the tip of this like look at that color it's just beautiful and then this other one right here um, the last one that I have this one is called simply radishing and it looks like this. This is almost like a mauve lilac type of pink. It's really pretty. And it looks like that. It's just really, really gorgeous. It's so pretty. That color, that shade is beautiful. My last item. We are finally to the finish line. I love perfumes. I had to get this for myself just recently. Um, this is Versace's Bright Crystal. And I always wanted to pick this one up. Like I said, I always delay and put everything off. But this is so beautiful. It smells so pretty on. I absolutely love it. And it looks like that. And this is the 1.7 ounce bottom. It's just, the best way to describe it is, it's just floral, dainty, light and refreshing. And it just smells so amazing. Um, but it's good for daytime wear. Like it's really, really nice. Okay, so the notes um, for this fragrance right here for Versace Bright Crystal. Um, it's a sparkling floral scent featuring notes of yuzu, rose, and magnolia. The key notes or the top notes is yuzu, iced accord, and pomegranate. The middle notes are peony, magnolia, and lotus flower. And the base is a, a kaju, 
uh, digital amber and musk. So this is a light scent that's perfect for daytime wear. It smells so fresh and so clean and it's so floral, soft, dainty, pretty. So if you're looking for something for daytime wear that makes you feel feminine, literally sexy um, and floral, this is the one that you need to get. So yeah, I love this scent, it's so pretty. Okay, last but not least, I have some lashes and I have a bunch of Ioni products that I just picked up from Dollar Tree just recently. And I'm dying to try these out because um, they started putting more um, of their, uh, I only started putting more of their products in um, the stores. And the ones where I mostly see Ioni at, because I don't see this cosmetic line in any other store but the Dollar Tree, um, is where I got these items from. So they're starting to um, put blush, mascara, liquid liner, brow pencils, brow product, um, as well as, um, I haven't seen eyeshadow palettes yet, but I picked these up just recently. These are some Ioni products. And I love Dollar Tree because everything is a dollar there or a dollar twenty-five. They've gone up a quarter. It's really weird. Um, but this blush that I just got is a baby rose blush. And this is I guess from their Zodiac sign collection because you can see Zodiac down there at the bottom. So this one is my sign, which is Virgo, which is an earth element. So anything that, you know, is um Relative to my zodiac sign is usually green, earth tone colors, neutrals, things of that nature because I'm an earth sign. Um, this blush is called Baby Rose. And at first I, I kind of looked at it and I'm like, I don't know if I like this because this is not normally a blush color that I would wear on me. So I wasn't sure if I would like this or not, but I told myself, what the hell, it's only a dollar and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll just give it away. Um, my sister Alizé is fair skin. Um, I know for a fact her foundation color is like neutral or natural beige or something like that. So um, if I come across light colored um, products like this and blushes or lipstick colors and stuff, I usually give them to her because like I said, she's fair skin, she's mixed but um, she's fair skinned and I know with olive undertones actually. So anything that I get that may not be flattering or suitable to my skin tone color, I usually pass it down to her. But um, it comes packaged like this, which I think is unique because it's open it's on a play card, like a plastic play card that has like notches at the top that holds it in place. You can see how it hooks up underneath there. And this is my shade right here. And look at the packaging, it's so cute. Like I love how colorful it is. And I'm gonna swatch it so that you can see how this color looks on the back of my hand. And I was pleasantly surprised because actually I love this color and I think it'll go. Like on my um, skin tone, I think it'll actually go. And it looks like that, if you can see it. It's really sheer. It's not gonna you know, pop off or show a whole lot of color, um, but I think it looks really, really pretty if I wanna barely there, like glow to my skin or a little pop of, um, like a baby rose neutral type of color to my skin. So that's what it's giving right there. And it's super pretty, I like it. And then it, it looks like a little matchbox that, that the blush is in. <laughs> it's so little and cute, but I really do like it. It, it has, it's magnetized, but because it's been folded back for so long, it's gonna take a while for it to like stay in place. But you can feel the magnet. So it does come magnetized, but the blush looks like this closed. And I just love the design on it, it's super cute. This one that um, is a liquid felt tip eyeliner by Ioni, Ioni, and it looks like that. And this one is um, the shade Kim Black, I guess you can say, because um, it's right there, Kim Black. It's very unique. This is what the eyeliner looks like um, on the outside of the packaging. I love the way Ioni packaged their products. Um, like I said, they're super cute and they're colorful and me i love color that's why my channel is called color me bad because i'm a, i'm i'm addicted to color i love color and anything that's colorful and decorative decorative like this i really like but that's the eyeliner right there i pull it out of the packaging my little fingernails not going to go up underneath there just pop it out right into my lap but this is what it looks like and i'm going to screw the top off and this is what the applicator inside the product looks like. It's real short, but it's a stiff um, applicator. You know, it's really, really stiff. Ooh, okay. It's really, really dark. Like, 
I love that. Like, look at that. That's really, really dark. Like, you see how dark that is? Okay, this is a, this is a hit. I like this. So I, I can tell I'm gonna be using this quite a bit. Okay, this one is a brow product. I guess this is also from their Zodiac collection. This is in the element Fire, but um, this shade of, of this brown pencil is dark brown right there. I normally don't really um, like use traditional brow pencils, but I'm gonna use this one because I'm curious. I just wanna see how well it works, like how it performs. So we're gonna take this out the package real quick. It should be real interesting to do a look with these products. So it's nice. I like the quality of, of the um, brow pencil. It looks like this outside of the product. So hopefully it's not one of those difficult um, brow pencils to work with to where it skips. Oh, it's really, really smooth. Okay. It's giving off like, hmm. Give it off like an ash brown, and I'm not really feeling that. But like I say, we're gonna try it out to see how it looks because I'm used, I'm used to a um, medium darker brown, but that's what it looks like right there on the back of my hand. So, but it's really smooth and it glides on easily. So it's not anything difficult for me to work with. So yeah, we're gonna try this out in affordable makeup look. The last item that I'm gonna share with you guys, this is also from Ayani. This is their perfect brow eyebrow kit. Now, I'm not really feeling this because obviously I already took it out of the package and, you know, played with it a little bit. These have um, one brow bone highlight color that you can see up there. Then you have three brow shades, and this is in powder form, this palette. So, and I'm going to show y'all what I mean. So, I don't like it when I do this tutorial, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go in and you know try to kind of make up for it and use another product <laughs> if I don't like this. But this also comes on a play card like this. And um, it looks like that on the, on the um, plastic display. So I don't know, because I actually um, did try this on and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I want to take a um, slant brush and show you guys why I have reservations about this. Because first of all, look at the colors. Um, it may not come across on screen to you guys, but it looks a little ashy, like um, these two bottom colors. So I know this one right here is out. I'm not even going to touch that one because that's not my brow sh shadow color. This is a brow bone highlight, but these two colors right here are darker. And I tried the darker one. And like I said, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this, but it may work because it's a little chalky. Like it'll go on with a lot of impact the color, but then when you start to blend it out a little bit, it kind of like, it gets like really chalky or dusty, but that's what the darkest brown looks like in this brow kit. And then I'm gonna show you the next color over, which is um, like a, kind of hard to describe, but I can show you better than I can tell you. Put it put it that way. My great grandmother used to say that all the time. I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> but this color right here is like um, the middle brown above it. It looks like that. Like I said, it's really sketchy, so I'm not sure about this, y'all. And then this lighter color, I'm just going to do it, you know, for amusement sake. Like, this is supposed to be a brown color. I guess this is for blonde brow people that you know may use this color for their brows but it's it reminds me more of a um like um a tannish shade like um but that's what it looks like right there see how that barely shows up like i'm i don't like that at all like so i know i will not be using that one out of this palette and then the last one is a brow highlight i guess to define the brows and that one is real faint like it's not really giving off no pigment at all and that's what i'm not feeling about this but you can see that lighter color right there so they are right but like i said mm, they kind of subpar so i don't know i don't know how i would feel about using this palette um this brow palette but i'm gonna try i'm at least try i'm not gonna just sit up there and just completely write it off and not 
really try to use it, but the packaging is so cute. Like Ayani makes the most cute, cutest packaging for their products. Like it just looks like really, really nice. Like I love that on the front. It's just really, really cute and pretty. These are some lashes that I picked up from AliExpress. These are, these are the latest trend in lashes. These are called Foxy Lashes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what they look like. See how they flare out on the sides and stuff. They just look really feminine and pretty and girly. So I'm definitely gonna try these in a look. These were only like um, $1.79 from AliExpress. All you have to do is just type in the search bar, Foxy Lashes, they will come up. You can get these in a five pack or you can get these individually, but that's what these look like. And they're so pretty. The last item is non-beauty related, but I still wanna share it with you guys anyway. It's kind of mobile tech related. I saw it on Amazon and I wanted to order it because even though I have a basic um, utilities black um, mobile phone stand. I wanted to get one that I can travel with that would be mobile. So this one was perfect for me when I saw it. And then the added bonus is it's so pretty. It's not just your plain standard average solid colored boring mundane looking like mobile phone stand. Um, this one came packaged like this. And um, it's also in this little um, plastic bag right here. It's wrapped up. And I just thought this was so cute. It's foldable. You see how, how it looks? And you can pop this up. And it looks like that. Like, how pretty is that? Like, look at the marble, like, um, design. Like, the stickers on the mobile phone case itself. And that's your little cradle right there. These are retractable. They go up. And it's expandable. So you can actually pull this part up if you need to expand it. And it will snap into place to put your phone on. So I thought this was just super cute. And like I said, I just wanted something that I can travel with because I have a mobile phone stand at home that I use, um, but I wanted one that I can travel with. And then it swivels out all the way out this way. Um, but like I said, you can put your phone on here. I'm just gonna put my other phone on here. This is my secondary phone. And um, it's kind of big, but it's perfect. So I love this phone stand to put my phone on. And it's super cute. And it comes in a variety of different patterns and colors, marble, paisley, floral. I decided to get this one. So if you guys wanna know where I got it from, um, and you want the direct link, I will um, leave the link down in the description box below so that you can um, directly get it from Amazon. But this was so cute. I think this was like $7.99 for me. And you can just push it back in place and then fold it back down butterfingers and fold it back down and just you can drop it in your purse but this is easy to travel with so i absolutely love this so i wanted a mobile phone stand for me to travel with and i got that okay guys that concludes this somewhat long um beauty haul that i shared with you guys i hope you liked it if you did like comment share subscribe like I said, we're on the way, we're on, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So I will be throwing a giveaway contest and I will give you details um, to you guys as soon as I do. Like I said, this contest is very unique. Um, you have to put in a little bit work, in, uh, in a, you have to put in a little bit work in order to um, win um, this Juvia's Place um, beauty package that I have for you guys. So I will explain the contest or the giveaway rules as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers and I'll let you know when it's going up and it's going to be active. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to all you newcomers who have arrived on my channel. I appreciate you coming through and just squatting a little bit, a little bit with me and just taking time to just share and view my videos. I appreciate you so much. So until next time, I'll be checking in with you guys much later. Have a blessed day and God bless you all. I love you superstars. Bye. <laughs>